if I get the air yet, that is going to be so amazing because then we can uh, start draining and gaining. Oh my God. Let's go, dude. Magic can be so easy sometimes. All right, let's go. And we're draining and gaining for four now, guys, for four. Oh, that's so good, dude. And they're, they're dead. They didn't even take that into account. They just absorbed the damage. Atali's favor is so good. This might be my favorite deck we've ever put together on the channel. I don't know why, but I absolutely love it. Not only did we put this thing together in, I want to say like 15 minutes, but we went undefeated as well. This thing is nuts and it works off of a draining effect. I'm sure a lot of you are all familiar with Ariette. This card is a 2-4 human that allows you to drain, basically stealing the opponent's life, hitting them for damage while gaining life for the amount of auras that you control at the end of your turn. And we've played this before plenty of times, but never in Mardu and never with Atali's favor. This card sets this thing in motion, man. This thing allows us to discover three when it hits the battlefield, getting us another permanent onto the battlefield that could potentially be an aura or something that can create an aura for us, cascading pretty fast for a lot of life drain. Not only that, we are running Roaming Throne today because you're gonna see in a minute here, all of our creatures are humans. They all have great abilities. And if you can trigger them twice at the Roaming Throne, it's GG's, especially when we're double draining them with Ariette. It is next level. And then we have the Spellbook Vendor, of course, which is gonna be putting auras on things every single turn for one mana. Now, this card gets better when you're doubling about the Roaming Throne, but you also need a lot of bodies to put them onto, right? So we've got the Anim. The Anim's gonna attack, creating a bunch of gnomes for us every single turn that we can then put those Spellbook Vendor auras onto. That way we can keep building the board wide, putting these auras out wide, and then draining them for max amount of damage. We've got other surprises for them too, like Monstrous Rage, which is another roll, or you know, another aura uh, token. We've got the Crawling Torment for, you know, not only, you know, to drain them even further, but to put auras more onto the battlefield, uh, forcing the opponent not able to block or attack. There's some really good stuff about this card in this deck. Uh, we've got some card draw here with the Skitter's Blessing. And we've got the Roadside Reliquary, which works really well because we're going to be creating artifacts off of the Anim. And Throne is also an artifact. And we got plenty of enchantments. So you're going to be drawing extra cards with the Reliquary as well. So we're going to jump right into it, guys. But please, by all means, enjoy this one. This was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll see you next time. Peace. All right, guys. Today, we're going to be draining the opponent's life total down uh, with Ariette. And the opening hand here looks really good. Got the ability to go Spellbook Vendor on two, right into the Anim. I'd say that's pretty good value. Um, okay. Freebooter comes down on turn one. Don't love that. Mono Black, potentially, and if it is, that's a lot of potential removal as well. Scry one and create a treasure. They're trying to sacrifice. Okay, I don't know what's happening yet. I guess let's not try to figure it out just yet. Let's just keep going. Um, they could block this. But it does turn up the Anim a little bit. And I have another Spellbook Vendor. I'd rather lose Spellbook Vendor here than I would the Anim. So I'm going to try to get the Anim above a certain threshold. Okay, so they're splitting up the blocks here. Trying to get two treasures and not killing the Vendor. I wonder why that is. Thought for sure we'd lose the vendor there, but. All right, they're ramping pretty hard here. They have something for instant speed. Obviously, would, uh, my guess would be removal. Liliana. Shieldred, actually not bad for us. We've got this here, which is nice. A reliquary is actually super nice as well. All right, cool. Um, sure, we might as well, right? Might as well. All right, let's do pay one. Put it on the anim. And we don't want that. All right, so now we've got the artifact and the enchantment. So, um, 
We are able to draw two cards off the Reliquary. We got to remember though, Shieldred still does have the ability to drain us. So we got to be careful there. But we're kind of cooking right now, man. Yeah, I figured that was our next line of attack. All good. Did we give up three life here? I think so. I mean, they can't defend, so they're gonna send it, right? And I don't necessarily want to lose a spellbook vendor here, especially when we got another Nim in the hand. Never mind, we do not have an Nim in the hand. <laughs> okay, that's a bummer. All good, though. I mean, we still got the two gnome tokens. It's it's getting worse and worse, but still not the end of the world, believe it or not. So You can have it. That's a card. Please give me the Ariette. I mean, if that's... If I get the Ariette, that is going to be so amazing because then we can uh, start draining and gaining. Oh my god. Let's go, dude. Magic can be so easy sometimes. All right, let's go. Oh, we are cooking, baby. We're cooking. We're cooking. Let's cry. Don't need it. Don't need it. Love that we can scry that away. And we're draining and gaining for four now, guys. For four. Oh, that's so good, dude. And they're they're dead. They didn't even take that into account. They just absorbed the damage. Not smart, but I don't think they realized what was about to happen there. <laughs> Atali's favor is so good. That was such a fun win. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. I enjoyed that a little too much, maybe. All right. Oh, man. Um, Spellbook Vendor here. Into Atali's favor. Hopefully finding the Ariette. And we're going to be good to go. I actually hope we hit an Anim instead. Anim would probably be better here. And then the Vendor can just keep putting Auras down. And hopefully we find it that way. I didn't sense any sort of priority stops there going on that last turn. Do I go for it? Man, if they kill this, I'm going to be so bummed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's go. That's card advantage. I will take it. Bro, this is kind of silly. It's kind of silly how cool this is. <laughs> it's got a lot of... A lot of synergies. I'm just really shocked because I, I built this pretty fast. I, I had this idea all day while at work, but uh, when I got home and built it, it was my first try. I just threw it together and normally I have to make a lot of adjustments, but it's been feeling really good. Okay. Extra card. Yes, yes. I say another favor. You never know. We might hit the Ariette, uh, Ariette. Or another favor. Dude, this would be a crazy Ariette. Not gonna lie. Ah, not quite. Not quite. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna pay, and I'm actually gonna put it on this one, because if they kill this vendor next turn, which is a possibility, I want to make sure I'm still able to draw a card off of this Skitter Blessing. Even though I'm giving up the ability to scry this turn while attacking, I still want to make sure my other vendor has that aura so I can draw that additional card. But man, if we hit an Ariette right there, we would have been draining them for what, like five? That would have been nice. Is it a sweeper? They played a face down card though, which is, can only be a couple of options, man. It's probably the prowess creature. Or that. Or that. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this. I'm going to draw and discard a card here and hope that uh, I can play an area if we find it here. Come on. Give me something good. Not going to fly. Okay, so. One, two. All right. So we pay one here. Pay one here, which knocks off the wicked roll token. <clears throat> and now they're at nine. We attack, we scry three times. They take six. Take out my three, three. 
Gain four. So they're down to seven, six, five, down to five, or they could block here too. All right, I'm going to go for it. <clears throat> nah. That would be cool, but we don't have an area down or anything right now, so not going to cut it. That, that on the other hand might be interesting because if we put it on the, oh, well, it depends on how they block here. I'm really looking for area, pretty much that or bust. I can go instant, you know, haste threats here too off of the crucible. That was an interesting choice on how to block there. Didn't expect that. We had trample there, so to absorb four of that unnecessarily instead of just blocking the three. Seems like a mistake, but... I don't know. Hopefully no sweeper here. I don't think they're gonna be running sweepers. It looks like they're obviously just pure angel synergies. Um, they might drop like a 3-4 uh, life linking body here. Archangel of Wrath, maybe. They do have the mana to kick it at least once and blow up my scoundrel. Okay, they instead decide to just flip over their Vindicator, which is not a bad play at all. Not a bad play at all. That's actually pretty scary for us. Okay, give me something good. There we go, dude. That's actually gonna get us the W, I think. Let's try. Hold on. So we play... We play this. We put the ore on it. That's only three that we drained them for. So we'd have to attack. But if we attack... That's not gonna cut it, is it? All right. And then we only have one mana. <laughs> what do I do here, guys? Uh, get that on there, go three. So if I attack though, they block the three, three, they take two, they gain four. That's not gonna cut it. I guess it's just this. We are one mana shy of being able to close this one out, um, but it is what it is. We'll drain him for three here, put him on the clock, force them to have to attack because they can't just sit here and keep taking the area damage. Invasion's going to gain them four life and draw them a card. They can't flip it, though. They can't flip it into another 4-4 blocker. Unless, of course, they're running like a instant or sorcery that can flip it but they just played another land that's not color so there's no way they can flip it there's no spells that will get them there so they're at five we can only drain for three right now about to be four man never mind we lose one right there they're making this tough on me i'm gonna be honest with you guys they're making it tough on us this is the cgb special though that's a really good card right there. That's a good card. Auto pay. Put it here. Um. So if I swing all, they gain four. They go to nine. I probably lose this. Then they go to nine, six, four, three. I think I have lethal if I did the math right. But then again, that's if I did the math right. God knows if I did. I don't need another one of those. Don't need one of those. That's good. It's hasty. It's haste. Oh, I didn't even realize I had two legendaries out there. I could have cast this too and sent in a few more bodies. I was so thinking about the rel uh, reliquary to draw me cards this turn. All right, that still should be enough though, I think. Oh, wait, we lose one aura though. We lost one aura. Shoot, I did screw up. I lost one aura, which is gonna put me down. Put me down a one drain point. Gosh darn it, dude. Gosh darn it. 
I had the game too. I could have went Crucible and just won the game. I thought I had lethal. I did the math, but then I forgot that we were going to lose an aura and I, I messed up by one. My math was just not math in there. Holy cow, dude. This game's taking too long. <laughs> Lightning Helix is tragic. I will say that's pretty tragic. Still getting an extra card off the Skitter Blessing though, which is fan freaking tastic. And I've got a haste threat. A couple hasty threats, really. Um... They don't really have a good way to deal with the area unless they're going to exile it with their angel, which they don't have any, you know, enough mana to do so. So I'm feeling good. Feeling like we've got this. Archangel of Wrath. It's kicked one time, I believe. Oh, not at all. Okay. Not at all, huh? All right. This should be more than enough, right? Yeah, GG's. I could have just passed the turn too and just hit him with the area drained. That is good stuff, man. That was a long game. I definitely did not want to lose that one. <laughs> man, these these games are fun. I'm really liking this deck a lot. Uh, this opening hand looks spicy. I'm going to keep this thing. Got a really good start here. Hopefully we're up against not not nothing too similar, um, but something that's more mid-rangey like that because the mid-range decks are the ones we do really well against. I think, especially with this build, giving us a little time to set up. Hopefully there's no sweepers and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, this looks good, man. We keep getting the Reliquary, which is actually really relevant. All right, I'm going Wicked Roll token. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm going to go with the area first. No attacks. Drain for one. Didn't expect that, did you? I hope we get to uh, put the roaming throne out there at some point. That'd be freaking awesome, man. A roaming throne with the area would be next level. All right. We'll eat the damage because we're going to send some damage right back. Uh, let's play this and if we... Well... Yeah, if we draw, that doesn't matter what we get. Okay, never mind. I'm just thinking out loud and I'm not making any sense. That's fun. That's also pretty fun. Oh my, oh my drain. <laughs> oh my life drain, dude. <laughs> they take another four, I gain four. Holy smokes, dude. I can probably pass my way to the finish now. The problem is, yep, there it is. Planes and exile, right? That's the problem. Hi, um, the problem is me. Borrow time. Ossification. Take your pick. No, just more aggression. More aggression, even though I got right back up to 20, huh? They can't attack. If they attack, they're basically conceding. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. GG's. <laughs> yeah. That is insane, dude. That was next level. Love it. Yes, I'm very happy for the first time in a while. <laughs> All right, we are up against the Jigglypuff. Um, our hand, man, would be really sweet if I had like a one or two drop creature or interactive. I mean, I got the Torment on one. I'll try it, man. I'll try it, but I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't like it without a uh, vendor or scoundrel. It's definitely not nearly as good. I don't think. Is it Boros Convoke? Wonder how we do against Boros Convoke. I mean, if I get my Nim down, maybe that'd be pretty pretty good. Get a wider board state for Bruin, but that's not great because they're all gonna be attacking. Yeah, it's definitely Boros Convoke. Okay. At least we know what we're up against, right? There we go. That's a good two drop right there. Good find. Good answer. Good answer. I like my chances now, though. I really do. That vendor off the top was a beyond clutch draw. Now this sucks. They got a demolition. They never don't have the demolition to open up the game, huh? At least they put it out before the war leaders calls on the field. 
That's when it's really annoying. Excuse me, who are you? As long as you control an artifact, it gets one owned, has haste. Well, that doesn't seem hardly fair. You're not supposed to run cards like that in a deck that's not... No, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to know what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? All right, um, what are we gonna do now? I mean, do I stick to the, I think I stick to the area, to be honest. We're a bit slow. We're a bit slow. We went second, though, so that's kind of to be expected. Next turn, I have a lot of things I can do here, but I, th I think I'm gonna go with Tali's favor and then put the minus one one on the raider. But uh, I, I do have the roaming throne too, which is super spicy. Hopefully the Atali's favor hits us something crazy. Yeah, this, this Convoke deck is not at all what I expected. Another demolition and a land. Perfect. All right, we're good. No need to worry, guys. We're good. They didn't find their Convoke creature. Oh, they just did. Are you are you actually kidding me? I literally was like chilling because I'm like, as long as they didn't find the knight, we're good. And then it just chopped back the knight. Okay, good. It didn't hit anything crazy. That's so annoying, though. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the new target for our friend here. But for starters... That'll work. Can't block me now. Uh, do I slam this? I kind of want to. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going for it. I don't care. I don't care. Come at me, bro. You want to lose three creatures? Fine by me. I thought about it, and I'm cool with it. All right. Roaming Throne. Hopefully I get a land here so I can go Roaming Throne into Monstrous Rage. That'd be pretty dope. Oh my gosh, it's another knight. Are you kidding me? This time hitting what? What is this? What in the world kind of Boros Convoke is this? They took the word Convoke and really ran with it. Yikes. All right, well, we got the Roaming Throne and the Monstrous Rage, so that's pretty freaking awesome. Yo, human. Um, the, the roll token, hold on, on do. Does this give me haste? That's trample, it doesn't have haste. All right. So maybe we put it here so we can get an attack there. Six, six, uh, they're gonna double block though, huh? Yeah, maybe we hold it back. How about three, two times? Not once, but twice. <laughs> Uh, I think I like that. All right, and then next turn we can go scoundrel and get two wicked roll tokens Yeah, they're full sending they have to They have to All right, we're good we win Scoundrel let's go dude. Let's freaking go. That was fun <laughs> Double drain for the win, baby. I love it. Love it. All right, the opponent gets to go first. We've got an interesting hand here, though. Um, I like it because the, the Scoundrel, it fixes a lot of problems with our deck. When this, these types of things happen where we don't have white sources, guess what? The Scoundrel gets us a treasure, baby. That's right. All right. Don't love that. Let's get a treasure. That can't block, right? So might as well send it. I'm not blocking it, so send it on through. Uh, do we go with Nim next turn or what? Ariette to drain would be nice, but they're ores off, so Ariette's probably gonna die. Ariette's probably gonna get picked off pretty fast. <clears throat> All right. Okay. 
There's a white source. That's clutch. Let's go with the anemone. and let's hope they don't have a sweeper. I mean, it, it's almost a guarantee they will, but let's just do this anyways. See what happens. Jadar. I'm totally cool with that. I'm not cool with whatever you're trying to do right now. Chill out. Oh, come on. Come on, bruh. All right, fair enough. A Nim is one of those cards or those creatures that just never, ever gets to stick around very long, does it? I'm going to try to hit an area this way. I'm trying to get it the cheap skate way. Ah, not quite, not quite. Uh, let's play this and then I think what I'm gonna do here Let's create a treasure So I can get this in I mean send everybody right Send the whole band I think we stumbled on something pretty cool here, guys. <laughs> I really do. We're on a bit of a roll right now. I, I don't expect to win this one because, again, it's kind of a bad matchup with removal. I'm sure they got plenty of it. But, man, we are we're flying through this. They're going to look for a card. I imagine it's going to be some sort of go for the throat effect. But they still got to deal with the... Oh, actually, it could be a sweeper, though. I just realized... I, didn't, I don't know why I'm so, like... Blind to the sweeper here. That's. Oh no, is it a. Okay, I thought it was a virtue for a second. I thought I walked into that. Alright, we're going here. Wicked roll. Boom. Attack with everybody. Bada bing, bada boom. Monstrous rage. Yeah. See you later. Let's go, dude. We avoided the sweeper just in time. Killed him right before it came down. We know it was Sunfall, right? It's got to be something like that. Okay. Opening hand looks very good, actually. I'll keep this. I love the vendor right into the area. It's really nice. Throw this down. And we'll throw this down. Take some damage, unfortunately. That's the one thing with Mardu right now, guys. You guys know I love me some Mardu. It's my favorite, like, of all time. But the mana right now for it stinks, man. All the pain lands you got to take. But in this particular build is why I, I think it's so good because it works fine in this build. Specifically for the reason that it, um, it gains a lot of life through the draining effect off the area. It's, like, basically built off of that. So when you ping yourself for damage... You can kind of recover pretty quickly. What's the move? Uh oh. Don't touch my card. Don't do that. What does Boros have for it though? I mean, there's get out, there's a get lost. Um, get lost. I've been seeing destroy evil a little bit more often too, so. But no, it's just some burn spells, which is good. Okay, what's that about? What sort of shenanigans are you on? Give me something good here. That is pretty good. So we go straight to the attack. We get the auto pay. Nice, we get the scry. Oh, dude, that is... That is ridiculously good. <laughs> like that combo right there, like Atali's favor. I think Atali's favor what is really what unlocked this man. I should have revisited this a while back because this Atali's favor is making this deck literally so much better. All right, so if they're working off mostly burn spells like lightning helixes, thunder or lightning strikes and things like that, um, Ariette should be fine. We shouldn't be worried too much about its removal. But if we see, you know, obviously get lost or destroy evil that would be a problem looks like they're going extremely wide here though um 
My guess. Some form of war leader's call situation. Bruin. I would pay one for you. One for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. These can't block though. So one, two, three, four. I'll send them both. Why not? I know we can lose the vendor, but I got another one. Monstrous Rage is not bad. That can actually close out the game for us next turn, potentially. They're going to need to put some blocks together. That's for sure. Are we just jumping or are we? Ooh, wait, why? Oh, you've got to play with fire. Son of a gun. I did not anticipate that. Yep, I he caught me sleeping. Caught me lacking. That's fair enough. Alright, that's a pretty cool card. Uh red source. Okay, so Okay, that's why they got those. Smart. We'll pay one for you. Decline you. Swing through for three, or you think it's three and three, but it's actually a lot more. Keep that on top all day. This game's over though. I, I, they, they can only block one of these, and the other one gets through, and then I drain them. So, or we just do this too. Either way. Shoot, I messed up again. My math, dude. My math ain't math, and I gotta get better. Oh, they killed themselves. Okay, good. I gotta be better at that though, man. I thought for sure that was exactly zero. I don't know what I was thinking. Technically it was, but it wasn't the way I thought it was going to be. GG's though, man. Let's go. All right. Can we finish this thing undefeated? I hope so. This hand looks like it's uh, definitely going to get us there. We'll see. All day on the vendor here. That is very enticing. I, God, I wish I wasn't such a degenerate gambler, man. I really, really wish I wasn't because I'd love to play that. But I think what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to go with the scoundrel. Create a treasure and then skitter blessing. Maybe start drawing cards right away. All right. So let's give them a reason to attack the or to kill the scoundrel instead of the vendor. What you take in? What you take in? Nice. I had a feeling they had something. That's why I wanted to bait them with the the scoundrel because I'd much rather keep the vendor on the field. So that they do that, so I stop drawing cards potentially. So all good. Dinosaur. We're looking at an Atali top end. All right. I'm gonna start off with the a one. It's another Leyline Binding, guys. We're cooked. Unbelievable. All right. Two Leyline Bindings down. We might have met our maker, guys. Especially if they have, like, a Sunfall or something. Ooh, they missed some, a land drop there. That's clutch. And we've eaten up all their Leylines. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Double skitter blessing for the double draw next turn. We might be right back in this. And if we can do, if we can put this on like their Atraxa, if that's their top end. Oh my God. Let's go, dude. Undefeated. That's how you close it out. God, that was fun. <laughs> That'll do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you so very much for watching today's video. And uh, thank you so much for sticking with me to the very end. I hope you enjoyed today's build. I know I did. I, I mean it when I say this is probably my most favorite deck. And honestly, it feels like forever. I, I haven't had this much fun playing Magic in a minute. I've been a little stressed out lately. So it was nice to blow off some steam and go undefeated today. And 
It just, dude, Ariette is one of my favorite cards. And uh, the ability to drain the opponent catches so many people off guard, as you saw in that video. Um, so really fun deck. I hope it lives up to the hype as far as, as well as I played with it. I hope you guys have some fun with it as well. Um, but that does it, man. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another deck list video. And a huge thank you and shout out as always to the mardu mob guys if you guys don't know the mardu mob is the membership program on the channel and these people support my channel monetarily every month we had a bunch of new members join yesterday on the live stream so thank you for becoming members if you're out there and watching right now i appreciate you guys and thank you so much for your continued support i do very much appreciate it but uh that does it guys we'll see you tomorrow till next time peace out Hit him three times like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah. yeah. MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. With the upload, man. Uh. Man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks to the meta. This ain't cheap, yeah.